honestly, Eponine deserves a hug and like three showers. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kat, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about why everybody hates Cosette. This is a video idea that I've been talking about for years. I'm talking like black hair and bangs for years. I don't know, now just felt like the right time to finally address and uh, defend my homegirl. If you guys are new here or if you didn't know, I love Cosette from Les Mis. If I had to choose a favorite musical, which I won't, I love all my children equally. Les Mis is kind of my favorite. I don't really have a favorite musical because I have too many favorite musicals, but like if I had to choose one, I answer that question as Les Mis. I love Cosette. I am a big fan of Cosette. I really want to play Cosette. I played her in a concert version of Les Mis. I am dying to play her in a full production. Uh, if you're new here, hi! My name's Catherine Steele and I really like musical theater so much so that this is my musical theater internet cult. Hit subscribe to join the cult. We're like a really nice cult so you should probably join. Is this what Midsommar is about? I haven't seen it yet. Question of the day. Are you team Eponine, team Cosette, or team Angerotaire? I see you, Barricade Boy shippers. Let me know in the comments down below or if you have any other Les Mis opinions. I just realized I don't think I explained what we're talking about very clearly. I just kind of assumed that we're all Les Mis geeks. Basically there are two really big sides when it comes to Les Miserables, a very popular musical. A lot of people are either Team Eponine or Team Cosette and they are two girls that are involved in a love triangle with this boy named Marius. Spoiler alert for Les Mis. Can't believe I'm giving a spoiler alert for Les Mis. Cosette and Marius end up together and Eponine dies. In general, especially when I first started getting into musical theater, everyone hated Cosette. I would say that I liked Cosette and I would get kicked out of conversations. People were mean. Yeah, I'm now realizing that maybe I just grew up with like a lot of theater bullies. So let's talk about why everybody hates Cosette. So the two biggest kind of defining factors about Cosette are that she's pretty and nice, which are kind of the two most boring adjectives in the human language. That's just not a very exciting place to start for like a dynamic musical theater character. Additionally, she gets the guy. She wins the love triangle, so to speak. And all she has going for her is that she's pretty and nice. More importantly, she gets the guy over Eponine. And Eponine is a dynamic, interesting, lonely character. Eponine is one of the most iconic roles in musical theater for young women, for mezzo belters. Just in the musical theater canon, I feel like Eponine is just so well known and so well loved. Additionally, we spend so much more time with Eponine in the musical than we do with Cosette. Cosette has like one and a half songs? Eponine has a ton more stage time and one of the most iconic musical theater solos in the entire history of musical theater. And even though we only see Eponine and Marius interact for like a millisecond before he meets Cosette, we know that Eponine and Marius have an established relationship. It's not love at first sight. They actually know each other. They've cultivated a friendship. That's a little more interesting than just, she's hot, I'm in love with her. Basically where I'm going with this is that the musical has set you up to love Eponine. You spend a lot more time with her, you get to know her better, and in general, we sympathize with her. We see what a difficult home life she has. I would venture to say that we all know what it's like to have a crush on someone who doesn't like us back. The amount of times that I have self-pityingly blasted on my own followed by a little fall of rain in my room when my crush leaves me on red, truly my entire middle school experience. Additionally, they make Eponine the underdog. Now, in general, so many of the actresses that that I know who have played Eponine are total hotties, but in the musical they kind of create a world where Cosette is the real beauty and Eponine is just kind of pushed to the sidelines. She's who we identify with. We see Eponine's life sucking, we see her on the street, we see her terrible family life, she is always covered in dirt, why is she so dirty all the time? There are a lot of other street people in Les Mis and they are not nearly as dirty as Eponine always is. Honestly, Eponine deserves a hug and like three shots hours, because again, she's real dirty. So that is why everybody hates Cosette, because the musical sets you up to love Eponine and to identify with her and to root for her, and the fact that she's a tragic hero. She dies a martyr, and it paints Cosette as the girl that your crush actually likes, who's just kind of the human equivalent to unbuttered toast. So I understand where y'all are coming from on Team Eponine. I do really love Eponine. I just love Les Mis in general, but 
Here's why I ultimately love Cosette. And granted, I would say that part of this comes from A, I really want to play Cosette. B, I think I have something really interesting that I'd like to bring to Cosette that I don't often see in her character in terms of like the way that she's portrayed and what they focus on. And C, because I grew up with everyone so vehemently hating Cosette, she's kind of become my underdog and I want to root for her and I want to make her likable to the audience. And not likable in the way that I talked about last week in terms of wrong dream roles, likable in the way that she's interesting and dynamic and brings something to the story and is a fully realized human. One of my favorite pieces of inspiration about how I would personally really like to play Cosette actually comes from the novel of Les Mis. So one of my favorite lines from the book is about Cosette and it talks about how she's more of a lark than a dove. Doves typically symbolize peace and calm, whereas larks are joyful and happy and optimistic. That is who Cosette is. She isn't nice. She's compassionate. She's hopeful. And being hopeful in her life and circumstance is an incredible feat. Remember that her dad ran out on her. Her mom is dead. She doesn't know the truth about Valjean. There is a revolution on the horizon and a whole bunch of little tinier battles that predate it. Now, of course, our modern understanding of social issues is very different different than how it was back then, but effectively Cosette is still a survivor of child abuse and neglect. Remember that she grew up with the Thenardiers. Not only was she doing a bunch of housework, but she was going out alone in the woods to the well. Like that line always crushes me. This little girl begging not to go out alone in the dark and cold, to grow up in that environment and then to turn out as well adjusted as Cosette does. That is a huge feat of self growth, self healing. I don't even know what to call it, but I, I think it is so inspirational and beautiful. I think oftentimes the happiest people and the most compassionate people are people who have gone through some really, really difficult things. They want to become the kind of people they wish they had when they were in a bad situation. Granted, we don't get to spend a ton of time with Cosette in the show, but what we do get to see is so admirable. When we meet her as an adult, she is feeding homeless people. She just has a very kind heart. You can see it in the way that she treats Valjean. You can see it in her interactions with Marius in a heart full of love reprise. That kills me, and I have no idea why. Maybe it's the intimacy. Maybe Maybe it's the tenderness that is pure magic to me. The way that she supports him and becomes his partner. I'm getting all emotional just thinking about it. I love Les Mis so much. And it's not that Cosette is bland or an idiot. She sees how awful everything is around her. She grew up through it. She chooses to be optimistic. She chooses to be joyful. She is not ignorant and blissful. She is trying to combat the harsh realities of the world by spreading a little bit of kindness. She's like a real life Disney princess, but by choice. It's not because the world is made out of rainbows and sunshine. She's trying to create that sunshine in a world where everyone just really needs a shower. That is why I love Cosette. And that's why I so desperately want to play her. And in general, I'd be willing to say that if you hate ingenue characters, those are usually the nice pretty girls who get the guy. I would venture to say that you don't hate those characters you hate the way they've been portrayed. Especially in a lot of like golden age musicals, movie musical adaptions. I think it's very easy to fall into the trap of just being pretty and nice and that's enough for a character. It's not. There can be so much more to these women, even if it's not explicitly mentioned in the script or the score. That's the fun thing about being an actor, creating a fully realized person out of a 2D character. If you guys like this video or if you want more kind of geek out session video, I don't even know what this is. It was honestly just me ranting about Cosette for I don't know however long this video is. But if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Like it seriously helps me out. So please do it if you liked it. If you're new here and you love musicals, hit subscribe. I also have a vlog channel. I've been vlogging a ton this summer. You wow. smell unbelievable. <laughs> and we have a ton more really fun vlogs coming up. Speaking of Les Mis, I'm gonna go see Miss Saigon next week. Next week! Ooh, I'm seeing the uh, LA premiere of the US national tour of Miss Saigon and I might be on the red carpet for it. I'm so excited. So I'll definitely be vlogging that. So definitely subscribe to my vlog channel, Party at Cats. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!